laser focused. That's how Bath head coach Greg Mock described Maddie Dakin's performance against Wapakoneta in the regular season. A 16 point wild kitten win at Wapak, in which Dakin, the WBL player of the year, led the way with 19. Today in Paulding, two teams square up for the second time this year. You can see this game in its entirety tomorrow night at 7.30 on WOSN with or without the Black Eyed Peas soundtrack. First quarter action now. Bass, Maddie Dakin down low. Finds room, gets the bucket. And then off the missed triple. Carly Buzzard there for the rebound and the putback. Wapak opens the game on a 7-2 run. Bath on the fast break. Dakin will keep it. Goes off glass. Wapak up two after one. Second quarter now. Bree Smith comes up with the steal. Lays it in. Bath reclaims a one-point lead. Off net of fans trying to will the Redskins back to the lead in the second half. Megan Watt knocks down the straightaway jumper for the Wapak team. 13 points from Watt. But Bath comes out on fire in the third. Brittany Ulmer hits the three. And then Ulmer drives in from the corner. Kicks to Alyssa Manley. Eyes it flies it. Three is good. A dozen for Manley as Bath wins. 51-34. Dakin once again leading the way. 20 points in the victory as Bath is going on to the regional tournament. It was a tough fought first half and, and give Wapak a lot of credit. I thought they defended extremely well in the first half. We got our rhythm back in the second half and we found some opportunities to score the basketball and really kind of change the flow of the game. Um, we really focused on getting reversals tonight. We knew that we had to pass the ball and it would open up their zone and open up their, our offense. Our girls every year have their goals first set on our league championship, which we were able to accomplish. And then secondly, we want to be a tough tournament team and, uh, and advance as far as we can through the tournament and it's something these kids really look forward to. I mean, we played them every year. We went to regionals, and we're, we're ready for it. I mean, I think we're really excited to play. Them, Toledo Rogers. Rams beat Toledo Central Catholic tonight 61-44. So for the fourth straight year, it'll be Bath and Rogers as Greg Monk's team looking for a little revenge as the Rams ended the Wild Kittens season in this round each of the last two years. Other half of that regional, Archbishop Hoban and Bellevue, they will be in Ontario. Bath and Rogers will be at ONU with the regional final back at Ontario.